everyone welcome back and thank you so much for watching for today's video I am gonna be talking about my top five favorite foundations this is I think my favorite video that I'm doing so far on my channel because I love foundations I love trying out different foundations that is my favorite thing so yeah I have some of my top favorite foundations to share with you guys today so if you want to know my top five favorite foundations then please keep watching so I have my five foundations in front of me I'm not really gonna go in any order I'm just gonna pick out randomly and talk to you guys about it so the first one I'm gonna talk about is well then I mean I picked the one that I really love the most but this is the Milani 2-in-1 Conceal Plus Perfect Foundation Plus Concealer. This is actually what I'm wearing on my face today. I also did a video on this look, which will be coming soon. But yeah, this is the foundation that I'm currently wearing. I love this foundation so much. This is probably my go-to foundation when I really want to look flawless and I have some kind of special occasion to go to. This is the foundation that I gravitate towards. I love this foundation so much. It is full coverage and it just looks so beautiful on the skin. It doesn't look cakey. It doesn't make me too oily throughout the day. I am combination skin, by the way, but this does not make me look cakey or too oily throughout the day. I think this foundation is perfect for any skin type. If you're oily, if you're dry, if you're super dry. If you're super dry, I would recommend you prime your face really really well and make sure it's really hydrated before you go in with this I use this in the shade sand beige 06 and honestly guys if you have not tried this foundation please pause this video and go get it this is definitely my favorite top foundation from the drugstore for that full full coverage look especially those days when my skin is not looking that great I know that I can count on this foundation to make my skin look amazing and flawless I wouldn't say this is an everyday foundation because it's more on the heavier side and more full coverage for an everyday foundation but this is amazing for when you're going out or you have a special occasion this foundation says you can also conceal with this I don't use this for concealing because I love my Tarte Shape Tape but yeah if you wanted to you can totally do that two in one even though the consistency is a little bit heavier and it's more full full coverage it still looks and feels very skin like if you know what I mean like it doesn't look like I'm wearing so much foundation it doesn't look cakey at all so that's what I love about this foundation a foundation that can feel lightweight but also give me full coverage is a plus and this right here does exactly that and this lasts all day on my face I think I wore this for about nine to ten hours one time and it did not go anywhere I think this will forever be in my top five favorite foundation so I highly recommend the Milani 2-in-1 conceal plus perfect foundation now, next is the Too Faced Born This Way foundation you guys are probably not too surprised about this um, I think everyone loves this foundation it looks so natural on the skin it just looks like your skin but better you know what I mean just like the name says born this way it literally looks like that and that's what I love about this it is a medium to full coverage foundation you can build it up if I do want a full coverage I just have to layer it a little bit and it layers really nicely so it looks very good on the skin I just love the finish of this foundation it doesn't feel heavy whatsoever on the skin but it still gives you that coverage that you need making it look very natural at the same time so with this foundation I can get a little bit oily on my t-zone throughout the day so so I do have to blot a little bit but it's nothing too crazy nothing that would stop me from wearing this foundation This foundation is perfect if you want to use it every day because it is so lightweight and it just looks so natural on the skin you can totally use this every day if you wanted to definitely try this one out you're not gonna regret it a lot of people love this foundation and I totally get it why when I tried it out it just looks really natural and just looks like your skin but better and yeah, I absolutely love this foundation. So again, this is the Too Faced Born This Way foundation. Next, I have the CoverGirl Vitalist 
elixir foundation now this is kind of new to me but i did use it for about a month now so i feel like i can definitely talk about it i mean i used it for a month almost two months now i wear this in the shade warm beige and this foundation is really pretty on the skin now i've never been a big fan of covergirl foundations or anything from covergirl actually i've tried one covergirl foundation back in the day but i never really liked it and i don't know i've never really been into covergirl makeup or anything from covergirl i don't know it just never really worked out for me i never really liked anything but this foundation for some reason when i saw it i was like hmm i don't know why but this just sounds really interesting i really want to try it this actually reminds me a lot of the Too faced born this way it's just the finish and the way it looks on the skin it's very similar to the Too faced born this way it just looks really natural and pretty on the skin the only complaint that i have about this foundation is they don't have a lot of shades in this um line right it's called line so if you are on the deeper skin tone it's gonna be pretty hard to find a foundation that will match your skin i think they only have like two deeper shades i i don't know i hope they're coming out with more but i just feel like i didn't see a lot of shades um for deeper skin tones so that's one complaint i have about this foundation um but i do hope that they will be coming out with more shades because this is a really pretty foundation it looks really nice on the skin the finish is great it doesn't feel heavy or cakey it's super lightweight and it's great to wear for an everyday look for school for work whatever it is and it just gives you a nice healthy glow to the skin so i really like it again if you are oily you will have to set this foundation with a nice powder because even with my combination skin i do get pretty oily with this foundation and i do have to blot throughout the days on my t-zone so yeah, but other than that, I really do like the finish and coverage of this foundation. So again, this is the CoverGirl Vitalist Elixir Foundation. Next, I'm going to be talking about my favorite Holy Grail foundation for the past 10 years, maybe. I think I over-exaggerated there, but probably like 7 to 8 years now. Um, going in 9, maybe. But yeah, this is the L'Oreal True Match Foundation, and this is from the drugstore, of course. I freaking love this foundation. This has been my go-to foundation since I was in high school. Now, back in high school, I didn't really wear a lot of makeup. It was mainly mascara, eyeliner, not like a wing liner, but like liner in the waterline, and then lip gloss, lipstick, whatever. But when I did wear foundation, this was my baby right here. It is so good. I freaking love this foundation. I don't know what it is about this foundation, but I always go back to it. Always, no matter what. This gives me a more medium coverage, I would say. And this is just so beautiful on the skin. It just looks very skin-like. It looks really natural. It gives you a nice glowy finish. To your face and it's just beautiful i think i've gone through like at least 10 12 bottles of this foundation i'm not even kidding this has been my foundation since high school and high school was a long time ago <laughs> if i have to pick between this and the covergirl foundation from the drugstore for like an everyday foundation i would definitely go with this it's just so beautiful and i've always really liked this foundation i'm almost out of this and please don't mind the cap like look how messy it is the only thing i don't like about this foundation is the fact that it doesn't have a pump and you have to like you know go like this dot it on your face or you can even put it like on a little those makeup pans or trays that they have whatever i don't know what it's called but yeah that's the only thing i don't like about that foundation i just wish they had a pump like this would always forever be on my top five favorite foundations so yeah if you guys are looking for an everyday foundation from the drugstore check this one out it's amazing and oh i wear this in the shade sun beige w6 now last but not least definitely not least is my cover fx natural finish oil free foundation i love this foundation this foundation is really really pretty on the skin if you have dry skin or super dry skin you are gonna love this foundation so much it does not feel cakey it does have a more heavy creamier texture 
but it's not something that will make it look cakey or it won't blend or that it will, you know, um, cling onto your dry patches. It won't do any of that because it's so creamy that it just blends super easily on your skin and just looks beautiful on the skin. It gives you a natural glowy finish to the skin so if you have super dry skin or just dry skin in general you are gonna love this foundation it just does wonders if you have dry skin honestly when i had super dry skin i used to use this foundation and it was amazing it just looked beautiful on my skin it looks so radiant and glowy and just really natural didn't look cakey whatsoever and that's what i love about this foundation a little goes a long way with this foundation because of its thick and creamy texture so you really need a small amount for your entire face and it's just amazing so i wear this in the shade g50 and i like to use this with a beauty blender now the reason for this is because of the texture because it's like thick and creamy i rather use a beauty blender than a brush it just gives me a more natural finish with the beauty blender you can definitely use a brush as well but i just find that the brush doesn't give me the finish that i want i don't know i just like the beauty blender like for all my foundations i like using a beauty blender over a brush that's just what i like to use but if you want to use a brush with it you can definitely do that and see if you like it better with the brush now this foundation says it's oil free however i think if you are really oily you will not probably like this foundation i think if you're super oily i would say stay away from this foundation because it is definitely not oil free it does give you that glowy look and it looks pretty dewy on the skin so i think if you're oily you will look a little too oily with this foundation so yeah but this is just the perfect foundation for dry skin girls now this is by cover fx and i just wanted to mention something i think that this brand is just really amazing like day by day it's really becoming my favorite brand now the reason why is everything that i've used from this brand I loved I love this foundation I use their setting powder like this one right here I freaking love it I love their highlighting drops amazing I use their setting spray the illuminating setting spray love it I just find that this brand is just so consistent with their products everything that they come out with is great so far everything that I have tried cover effects is definitely becoming my favorite brand for makeup I don't know what it is but everything that they come out with I fall in love with and I don't know I love a brand who's consistent with their products and always coming out with great products so yeah I just wanted to throw that out there I don't know all right so I think this completes my top five favorite foundations and hopefully it gives you some ideas for foundations to try out if you are looking for a new foundation definitely check these ones out that I have mentioned I think you will love them I've used them for a really long time so I absolutely trust and love these foundations. And I hope you liked some of the ones that I recommended. Please don't forget to subscribe before you leave. I would love to have you here. And I will see you all in my next one. Mm -hmm.